So this influencer, her name's Melina. So one day, she's watching YouTube and she notices this streamer. And she gets a little crush on him. Now the streamer, his name is Destiny. He does political commentary and debates and stuff, and she watches him often. Now she eventually messages him on Instagram, and he messages her back. And they start talking, and they message back and forth for a few months, and after a period of time, he flies out to New Zealand to visit her where she's staying at the time. And things get romantic, and they start dating. Now here's where it gets interesting. Destiny and Melina, they decide to have an open relationship. So they're together, but they're allowed to see other people. And they're both influencers, so they put their lives out there publicly. And they're both very vocal about this. I'm in a poly relationship. The reason why I'm in a poly relationship is because I don't give a f if my girlfriend goes and f another guy, because I know she's coming back to me at the end of the night. Now they eventually get married, and their open relationship becomes an open marriage. And they love each other a lot. Like, there's no need for a prenup. I mean, he's already a successful streamer. He's got more money than he needs. I make so much money if somebody takes a few million from me, whatever. Now, Destiny gets a lot of pushback for being in this unorthodox relationship. Now, he does a lot of political debates, often on these anti-women red pill podcasts, and they will attack his open marriage. And how do you expect that to last for the next five years? I mean, it's lasted for four years, which I think is longer than any relationship you've been in, right? Oh! But does Tiny and Melina, they don't care. They have no problem defending their open marriage. Besides, their relationship is going great. Until one day earlier this month, does Tiny's fans notice something weird? He's allegedly no longer following Melina on social media. And his fans are like, what the hell? He's not following his own wife? The next day, does Tiny responds to some messages on his Discord where he talks to his fans. And he's ranting about Melina. And in these messages, he says she's with another man. But they have an open relationship. So whatever, right? No. According to him, she has become obsessed with this other man. Now, the other man is allegedly this guy, who we'll just call Meme. Meme is a TikToker with a pretty big following. Now, according to Destiny, this new guy, allegedly meme, is toxic and abusive. And Destiny wants Melina to stay away from him. While this new guy, allegedly meme, wants Melina to divorce Destiny, I guess so she can be with him. Now, Destiny's also frustrated because he's allegedly been paying for Melina's apartment in Sweden, while she has been allowing, allegedly meme, to live there in that apartment secretly for free. And basically, this has caused a lot of problems for them. And Destiny says he's done with her and he's done with all this. So then, screenshots of all of Destiny's messages hit Twitter and suddenly his name's trending a little and everyone sees this and they want to know what's going on. Like, is this poly relationship actually over? Is Destiny really getting a divorce? And he's worth millions of dollars. Is she really going to take all that money? And of course, a lot of people he had debated before, the anti-women red pill podcast people, they start using it as an excuse to dunk on him for being in an open marriage. I don't think open relationships ever work whenever a woman is open as well. It only works when the man is open, but never when the woman's open. A woman can't serve two masters. She really can't. So Destiny sees all this challenge and he knows he's got to address it. And he makes a video talking about the divorce rumors and it's an hour long. But don't worry, I watched it all. Basically, he says he's talking to his therapist about all this and he doesn't want to go into any more detail about it or trash talk Melina or allegedly meme while he figures all this out. Around that same time, Melina gets on a live stream and she says something similar. I personally don't want to talk about anything about my private life public. So we don't actually know right now if they are getting a divorce. But we do know Melina has since agreed to sign a post-nuptial agreement. So any rumors of her trying to take his millions of dollars just turned out to not be true. And seriously though, I think this has got to suck for both of them, so I hope this works out for everyone involved.